what I know now is completely different than what I knew two years ago, which is not just based on the legality, but in discussions with Nolan Williams, this incredibly impressive colleague of mine and friend of yours and colleague of yours, really, that the safety profiles on things like MDMA are actually quite high. I was taught that MDMA was neurotoxic. Why was I taught that? Well, there's a paper published in Science Magazine looking at toxicity of MDMA, observing neurotoxic effects. Turns out, what were they looking at? Methamphetamine. Oops, retraction. Yeah, retraction, except that never made the major headlines. Okay, so then you look at the data on psilocybin. Here, I'm just going to hit the high points because it's not my work. It's the work of Matthew Johnson and of, of Robin Carthard Harris at UCSF. Intractable depression. People who are suicidally depressed. Nothing else works. Talk therapy doesn't work. Antidepressants don't work. TMS doesn't work. Do two high dose. So it's 25 milligrams of psilocybin that has to be translated for grams of mushrooms.